Hello and welcome to Teach to Learn, the channel in which I teach concepts so you can learn them and I can better understand them. Right now we're going to be learning how to set default parameters for your arrow functions in JavaScript. So let's dive right in. In order, for, in order to help us create more flexible functions, ES6 introduces default parameters for functions. Then they tell us to check out this code right here and in which we have variable greeting being declared with the const keyword and assigned an arrow function with the parameter name. But this is the in interesting thing about this particular function. It has been set a default parameter of anonymous. Then it is simply set to return the concatenation of a string value of hello and our name argument passed into our function. Then the function is simply logged into the console twice, once with an argument of John being passed to it, meaning a string of John has been passed into our function, and once without any argument being passed into it. And then they say the console will display these strings, hello John in the first instance right here, and hello anonymous in the second instance. This happens because in the first time we called our function, we passed to it in a string of John. In the second, we didn't pass any argument into it. But since we gave our parameter a default value of anonymous when our function is called without any argument being passed into it, it will always return the value of our default parameter, excuse me, with whatever else our function is set to do. So then they say the default parameter kicks in when the argument is not specified. It is undefined, like in this case right here, in which it displays hello anonymous. As you can see in the example above, the parameter name will receive its default value anonymous, as we've talked about before, when you do not provide a value for the parameter. You can add default values for as many parameters as you want. So let's just see this code in the example provided in action real quick so we can better visualize what it is doing. So let's copy and paste this right here. And as you can see in the first instance, when our function is called, since it was passed an argument to it, you get your string of, you get your string values of hello, John, and in the second instance, since nothing was passed into our function, we simply called it, we get our string of hello anonymous with our default value for our parameter. And now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the challenge in which we are tasked with modifying the function increment, this function right here, excuse me, this right here, by adding default parameters so that it will add one to number. So one must be added to number right here if our value is not specified. So what our function does, what our increment function does is it always takes in arguments of number and value. And it is set to return the addition of our number plus our value. If no value is specified, our value should automatically be set to one. So we simply go within our parameters and with the assignment operator, assign it a number value of one. Let's log this into the console with a number argument being passed to it and no value being passed into our function. So if we go increment with a value of two and nothing else, we should get a number value of three when our function finishes executing, which is what happened right here. So let's run the tests and see if we are correct. And yes, we are. Thank you so much for watching. And this has been how to set default parameters for your arrow functions in JavaScript. This has been your bearded coding friend, teach to learn, now signing off. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.